got something new today. So today I'm gonna to review a new product that I got. I had a company reach out to me on email. EV Mods is the name of the company. They had some products. They said, hey, if we send you some products, will you check them out and do a video? I said, sure. So I did not pay for these products. They were said to be free of charge. Um, but let's get into the box and see what we have. I just kind of opened the box. I literally looked inside. It says it's EV Mods. Let's pull them out, see what we got. Okay, this is a storage box package for Model Y, my organizer storage box. Looks like it has two underseat storage boxes, a rear center console storage box, an armrest hidden storage box, and a front center console storage box. Now, I do have the older Model Y um, center console, so we'll have to see. I'm not sure if this is for the new or the old. It doesn't really say, but we'll find out. And then, okay, we have a similar armrest leather cover package. Looks like it's, oh, it's for the Model 3. So my Model 3, my Model Y. So this one here, well, it says probably Model 3 and Model Y. We'll see. I'm not sure. Similar stuff. We have the rear center console storage box, the front center console storage box, armrest hidden storage box, and an armrest leather cover. Um, so, but that's 3 or Y, that's Y. I'm not sure the difference. But I have the Y, so let's get into this one and see what we got. All right, so first thing we have looks to be the front center console storage box. Show that to you. It's a harder plastic. It's got that felt inside, like the inside of the storage of the car already. Looks like some little storage areas. That's the front. And we have the rear center console storage. Looks a little different. Again, hard plastic, looks like some coin area. Same kind of thing with the felt inside. Okay, this must be the hidden armrest. Hidden armrest. Okay, it's got some 3M tape, so we'll have to see how that fits in there. I don't remember exactly where this would go, but looks like you got a button you can push to open it up so you can conceal stuff in there. That is hard plastic as well. That is hard plastic as well. There's the 3M tape, and then there's the little fingers they push here, and it opens. And finally, what I'm really excited about is the underseat storage trays, because it's really wasted space in the car. I mean, you've got that huge cavernous area under there, and I've tried putting stuff down there, and it just kind of falls back out. So this is exciting to me, because I'm gonna be able to store stuff in there. Looks like there's two of them. So it looks like there's two of them and they are identical. At least they appear identical. They are a softer plastic. So this is like a softer rubber, malleable. So we'll have to see how that fits in the car as well. So let's go, let's take these in the car and uh, try them out. All right, normally I have a bunch of junk in here, but I've cleared it all out except for my sunglasses. Um, and also in here, I've cleared this whole area out. Usually there's a bunch of stuff in there. I have cleaned it out, so we're ready to try these out. So let's try, let's try this one first. I looked online and I believe that this is for the new center console on the Model Y because I cannot get this to fit. Now, according to the picture I saw online, it fits like this, but it looks to me like it fits like that in the new center console. And I do not believe this is for the old center console. I've tried multiple ways to put this in. You put it in back, it falls down. It doesn't fit this way. In fact, if you put it too far back, it blocks the uh, charge port. So I don't think that's for it. I think it's supposed to ideally sit right like this in the new center console, but it, it just does not fit. So I'm pretty sure this is not for my car. Uh, so then I started worrying that the rest of it wouldn't fit, but they actually do. So let's try this out. 
So here we go. This one fits in, kind of tipped it up and then boom, fits right in there. Really nice and snug too. It's, uh, it does move a little bit if you push down too hard, but I think that's, you're not supposed to push down really hard because there is still an empty space below it. So you can still store stuff down there, but it is designed and it fits right in where it's supposed to go. So I guess there's just no way to hold the front because there's no lip there, but you can still get to the, uh, to the cigarette lighter. And again, you can put a bunch of stuff in there. So, and then this thing is pretty cool. So this thing actually goes underneath here. So that's a pretty use, wasted space. I guess unless you have something in here that's so tall that it's gonna need that extra space. But this thing that I haven't taken the tape off actually goes right in there like that. So I guess if you didn't know any better, you wouldn't know if this was glued in if I use the tape, uh, which I'm gonna check with my wife first because this is her car, see if she wants to put it in. I like it. It doesn't stay without the tape. But then if you press right here, then you can get into the area and you can actually store stuff down in there. So that is pretty slick. I mean, otherwise it's, like I said, wasted space. So I like that, but again, better double check with the wife, make sure she wants that before we put it in. Then finally, the under seat storage. All right, let's try this out. Okay, let's push it in there. Okay, now if you push it too far back, it looks like it's popping up. So it looks like it fits right about there. Yeah, which is almost flush with the front. I do have the seat all the way back because that's where I sit. So let's go try it out on my wife's side because she usually has hers up closer. All right, we'll try this one on her side. Sorry, it's her car, but when I drive, she sits here. Oh yeah, that pretty much conceals it. I mean, her seat's not, it's just a little bit back, but yeah, you can see that just goes right underneath. And again, if I said, if you push too far back, it will go further, but the back kind of pops up. So it's meant to be right about there and that's nice storage. Otherwise you got the space with really nothing you could do with it. It just stuff would roll around. So now at least you got it kind of concealed and you got it so it won't roll around. So very slick. So the armrest cover package does not come with the under seat storage, which I really wanted. I, I'm glad I got that one. This uh, instead comes with the other same three things, but it comes with the leather armrest cover, which I don't want to open it up because I'm going to give this away. looks like it's a faux leather cover. It is padded, um, but really I don't want to put that on there. And I think this is for the new center console anyways, because this is a lot longer than mine is. So this will be for someone. So, so if you're interested in this package, I'll give away, make sure you have the new center console, then this should all fit. So, so that's all I got for you today. Um, again, this is from EV mods. There is the model Y storage box package, which has the two under seat storage, the front and rear center console organizers and the hidden storage organizer, a hidden area. Um, and then we also saw the, armrest package which has the front and rear center console organizers the hidden storage hidden armrest storage area and the leather armrest but again i think this is all for the new model y and model 3 center consoles if you have an older one then you can use everything except for the front center console as you saw so pretty cool product i think it retails for about 40 dollars. i'll put a price up uh now and I'll put a link in the product down below. It's available on Amazon. Um, neat stuff. I like it. And uh, just got to get the wife's permission to put this uh, under the hidden armrest since it's her car. So someday mine when we get her another one. But pretty cool package. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. I'm almost to a thousand. So I appreciate every single subscriber at this point to get me over the thousand dollar subscribe without to get me over the thousand subscribers. Like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.